Good evening. It's my honor to welcome you to the Central Lakes College nursing pinning ceremony. What each of you has achieved is nothing short of amazing. Our nurses receive some of the most rigorous education available. You completed this challenging program. You persevered. We've always known how important nurses are to our healthcare system. But in recent months, we've seen our nurses be handed a label that they truly deserve, heroes. You leave Central Lakes College fully prepared for the challenges ahead. You leave here ready to make your impact on the world. And I know I speak for your instructors, your families, and everyone watching when I say that you are going to make us so proud. Congratulations and thank you. Hello, I'm Jennifer Dox and I am a part of the 2020 Practical Nursing Program. Uh, we finally did it. We finished the practical nursing program. I would like to take a moment and thank all of our families and friends for their support and encouragement throughout this school year. I think a lot of us would agree that without the support, this journey would have been much more stressful or not even possible. So thank you. And I would like to also give a shout out to my husband, Jason. There's no way I could have done this without you. You're the most supportive and loving husband and thank you for encouraging me to go out pursue my dream. This year has probably been the most difficult year of our lives. And standing here today, I think it was well worth it. It was worth the countless hours doing homework, making note cards, reading and studying. It makes all those moments that we missed out on with our family and friends a little bittersweet. Now, as some of the students are fresh out of high school, some of us are not so fresh out of high school. But everyone has taken their own path to get here today. So life happens, and before you know it, you're in your mid to late 30s, and you're still not a nurse. Or maybe that's just me. My path to nursing was not a straight line. As with many career aspirations, I had to put my dream of being a nurse on hold. And I do not regret the path my life has taken. On the contrary, I believe life experiences have led me to where I need to be at this moment. I know deep down this is the right time for me to achieve my goal of becoming a nurse. Now, I've never heard a single person say that nursing school is easy, and after experiencing it, I understand why. On our first day of school, everyone's so excited to meet your classmates and to meet your instructors, because they're going to be an extended part of your family for the next school year here. Um, then reality sets in, and we hit day two. Read 424 pages and be ready for a test on day three. So we survive the first semester and on to the second semester. Then we make it all the way to our much needed spring break. And wouldn't you know it, we found ourselves in the middle of a pandemic. As a nurse, you have to adapt to changes. And that's exactly what we all did. Nobody would have ever imagined that the last 10 to 11 weeks of school, we would be doing distance learning. And it's been a huge change, not for just us students, but also for the faculty. So I'd like to thank Sarah, Karina, Vicki, and Julie, and Tara for adjusting with us and trying to figure out how to salvage the rest of our semester. And I would like to congratulate my classmates on overcoming all the obstacles that have been thrown our way to make it where we are. Now in school, we spend a lot of time going over nursing diagnoses. And I think it is safe to say we can all self-diagnose ourselves with stress overload related to social isolation, sleep deprivation, and distance learning as evidenced by being a practical nursing student at Central Lakes College. Now everyone has their own idea of what it means to be a nurse. And I found this online and I would like to share it and the author is unknown. Being a nurse. You will never be bored. You will always be frustrated. You will be surrounded by challenges. You will have so much to do in so little time. You will carry immense responsibility with little authority. You will make a difference. Some will bless you and some will curse you. You will see people at their best and also at their worst. You will never cease to be amazed by people's capacity for love, courage, and endurance. You will see life begin and also end. You will experience resounding triumphs and devastating failures. You will have the most rewarding job in the world. So in closing, we have all chosen to pursue an emotionally fulfilling and rewarding career. As a nurse, we can truly connect with our patients in meaningful ways. And somebody shared a quote with me by Maya Angelou, People will forget what you said, and people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So it was an honor and a privilege to be a part of this class. 
I am so proud of our achievements and I am grateful to have been on this journey with you. So congratulations to the practical nursing class of 2020. The nursing pin is a symbol with a rich history dating back to the Maltese cross. The Crusaders wore the cross as a symbol of service to Christianity. Over the centuries, various symbols represented service to a ruler or to the community. As a result of Florence Nightingale's influence, the importance of nurses' training was recognized and hospitals began developing programs. The Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London designed and awarded a badge with a Maltese cross to the nurses as they completed their program. By 1916, a ceremony awarding the badges was a tradition in England and the United States. The badge symbolized educated women who were prepared to serve the health needs of society. Eventually, East School of Nursing designed and awarded a customized pin. In the United States, the first pin presented to the, a graduating class occurred at Bellevue Hospital in New York City in 1880. The pin featured a crane in the Center for Vigilance. This center relief is encircled by a band of blue for constancy and an outer band of red for mercy and relief of suffering. The nursing pin is accompanying ceremony represented a meaningful experience for nursing students. It symbolized the completion of education requirements that enabled nurses to sit for the state licensure examination and then practice nursing. Attached is a picture of the Bellevue Hospital pin, which is part of the Nursing Museum History Collection. The Museum of Nursing History has an extensive collection of nursing pins and can be viewed when visiting the museum. Good evening, I am Sarah Jennison, one of the um, practical nursing faculty um, that has been with this program for this last year of students. Um, we're gonna start with the presentation of pins. I'm gonna make announcements for each student along with Julie Watala and Karina Kobuska. The first student is Roxanne Adolfson. She is from Aiken, Minnesota, being pinned by Scott Adolfson, her dad, her future plans are hopefully working in an operating room or a clinic. Special thanks to her family and friends for unconditional support and always pushing me to do my best. Next, we have Mackenzie Arndt. She's from Clarissa, Minnesota, being pinned by her mother, Sarah Arndt. Um, her future plans are obtaining her RN at CLC and eventually going on for her BSN. She'd like to say a special thanks to her family and teachers who supported her along the way. Aries Moon Ahrens is from Holding Ford, Minnesota, being pinned by Raymond Fusi, her grandfather. Her future plans are to continue on with her RN in the fall of 2020. She'd like to say a special thanks to her close friends and family for convincing her to keep going and being there during the hard times. Ella Bates is from Aiken, Minnesota, being pinned by Colleen Ware, her grandmother. Her future plans are becoming a nurse anesthetist. Special thanks to her parents for always encouraging her to achieve her goals. Sierra Brown from Hewitt, Minnesota, being pinned by Gage Brown, her husband. Future plans are continue on with her RN next spring. She'd like to say a special thanks to her mom, Holly, for always watching her daughter, Extra, and her mother-in-law, Amanda, for all the nursing help. Blessing Cahill is from Riverside, California, being pinned by Eric Cahill, her husband. Her future plans is to be an RN and work at any emergency department. Special thanks goes to her husband for being her number one cheerleader and always being a shoulder to lean on. Also to her CRMC Breezy Point Clinic family. They always helped her with her homework assignments, answered all her questions, and have been so supportive. And lastly, the LPN clinical staff, would not, she would not have made it without your awesome support and help. Uh, Burhan Abdi Dini from St. Cloud, Minnesota, um, being pinned by Fasal Farah, her husband. Her future plans are to go back for her RN and become an OB nurse. Special thanks 
to her whole family who took part of her reaching this milestone and her teachers, Sarah, Karina, and Julie, who all believed in her. Thank you once again, and God bless. Jennifer Dox from Aiken, Minnesota, being pinned by her daughter, Mara. She inspired me to go back to school. Future plans are to continue school for RN in the spring semester of 2021. Special thanks to my husband, Jason, who was always my number one supporter. Without him, this would not be possible. My kids, Mara, Brecken, and Sailor, thank you for being understanding for the amount of time I spent away from you during doing homework and studying. I would also like to thank the rest of my family for all of their support and encouragement. Emma Eberhard from Alexandria, Minnesota, being pinned by Levi Taylor, her fiance. Future plans are to be a home care nurse for infants and pediatrics. Special thanks to the entire nursing faculty. Without all of you, it would not have been possible to have such a great experience in education. We are truly blessed. Kari Erickson from Motley, Minnesota, being pinned by George Christensen, her father. Future plans are working as an LPN and then continuing on to get my RN degree. Special thanks to Josie and Alex Erickson, Doug and Alex Peterson. Uh, accomplishments for Kari are President's List and Practical Nursing Club President. Haley Fisher from Piers, Minnesota, being pinned by Brandy McCrutchen, her aunt. Future plans are going on for my RN soon in the future and specializing in pediatric nursing. Special thanks to my family for being supportive and helpful in the past nine months and fellow classmates that have also been encouraging and committed to this program. Kelsey Gates from Crosby, Minnesota, being pinned by Jim, her husband, Owen, her son, and Charlotte, her daughter. Future plans are to work as an LPN while continuing my nursing education and go on for my RN. Special thanks to my husband, Jim, and my children, Owen and Charlotte. Without their understanding, I could not have been successful in the PN program. Mutita Golbeck from Browerville, Minnesota, being pinned by Vicki O'Brien, her instructor. Future plans are passing the board test and becoming an LPN and working at my facility. Special thanks to my husband, Aaron Golbeck, and my two sons, Dustin and Sebastian. Autumn Hall from Eagle Bend, Minnesota, being pinned by Vicki, her nursing instructor. Future plans are to be a forensic nurse. Next we have Nicole Hansel. She is from Eagle Bend, Minnesota. She's been being pinned by her husband, Brian. Her future plans um, are to provide nursing care to clients in their home. She would like to thank her family for being supportive through this long journey and to Tiff for being herself. Next we have Terri Ann Johnson. She is from Brainerd, Minnesota. She is being pinned by her husband, Seth Johnson. Um, her future plans are to work as an LPN while pursuing her RN. She would like to thank her amazing husband and children for being her biggest supporters and the reason she keeps moving forward to better herself and to make them proud. Rebecca Kumpala from Monaga, Minnesota, being pinned by her mother, Joyce. Her future plans are to complete the RN program and she wants to work in a clinic while completing her RN. She would like to thank Sarah Jennison and Karina Kobliska and friends and family for helping her get through the program and always encouraging her to do her best. Next is Sarah Lloydalt from Piers, Minnesota, being pinned by her mother, Penny Lloydalt. Future plans are to work as an LPN for a year and decide if she wants to go back for her RN. She would like to thank everyone who helped her achieve her goal in becoming an LPN. Next we have Sarah Murphy from Brainerd, Minnesota, being pinned by her mother, Christine Murphy. Um, future plans are to pass her boards and work in a hospital setting as an LPN. She would like to thank all of her instructors, um, Staples Hospital staff for allowing her, um, them to come for clinicals, and her family and friends. Cassandra Ray Sanowski from Brainerd, Minnesota, being pinned by Jane Wilhelm, um, daughter. Her future plans are to acquire her RN and specialize in something. Special thanks to her family that have supported her through this crazy year and helping her succeed in nursing school and Eric for keeping her sane and being her rock. Tiffany Van Winkle from Denver, Colorado, being pinned by Seth, her son, and Patrick, her boyfriend. Future plans are to, um, she has been accepted into the ADN program starting in spring of 2021. Special thanks to her professors for everything they have done and for friendships that she has made, uh, making this experience enjoyable.
At this time, we would like to ask all the nurses, retired nurses, and the practical nursing class of 2020 to please join us in the Florence Nightingale Nurses Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters, affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. With it being the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale, the founder of nursing, I feel it is only fitting to start with one of her quotes. Never lose an opportunity of urging a practical beginning, however small, for it is wonderful how often in such matters the mustard seed germinates and roots itself. Having completed the practical nursing program, we have now rooted ourselves into the foundation of our nursing careers. From now on, our nursing abilities and knowledge can only grow. Every single one of us has a meaningful reason for why we decided to become nurses. We come from different places, backgrounds, and are at different phases in our lives. We are, at this moment, exactly what we are meant to be. Taking that into account, I feel our class has proven that no matter the life circumstances, with hard work, anything can be accomplished. You're never too old, and it's never too late to follow your dreams. Some of the longest and hardest journeys end up becoming the best adventures. A lot of us have faced challenges along the way to get to this point in our lives. It is refreshing to now sit back and enjoy this moment, knowing it was all worth it. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our professors, Sarah, Karina, Julie, Vicki, and Tara, as they have been nothing but amazing throughout this entire program. There were times we all thought of quitting and could have come up with a thousand reasons on why we should. However, each of our professors could have and would have without hesitation given us a thousand and one reasons on why we should continue. With that being said, it was all worth it. The tears, the late nights, early mornings, stress, it was all worth it. Nine months ago, I'm sure no one thought that we would be celebrating our success from an online presentation. Despite that, the feeling of this moment is still just as wonderful. Due to the pandemic, we have learned to work harder, be more patient, save our accomplishments, and have become more detailed nurses. Well, ladies, we did it. I am so proud of each of you and wish nothing but the best in your nursing careers. Congratulations to the Practical Nursing Class of 2020. Now let's go past that NCLEX and begin to grow as nurses. <laughs>